another awesome video, and this is probably gonna be the most awesome video I've done yet. So guys, I didn't upload like all summer long, and I'm super sorry for that, but I'm getting back in the flow of making those awesome YouTube videos for you guys. And I'll be uploading a video now on Saturday and Monday each week consistently, I promise. So this is what I did this summer of 2018, and it was probably the most fun thing I've ever done. I never thought actually building a PC would be like this much fun, and it just totally is. It's something I've gotten into and just really enjoy. First of all, I want to say that I actually have never used anything but Apple. Like literally my entire life, Apple iPhones, Apple iPods, Apple computers, everything has been Apple my entire life. So this is my first time ever touching anything that wasn't Apple. This computer runs on Windows 10, and there was some differences for sure. I think the thing when it comes down to it though, when choosing a computer is that a Mac's gonna be more family friendly and also just super easy to use. I remember even the first, when I started first using iMovie, it was just super easy to use. Versus a PC like this, it's super easy to use, but I wouldn't say it's like as easy. Some of the stuff you have to do learn more research on or look at more and then you'll finally get it. It's not hard, it's just not as easy as it would be to use as a Mac. But for this, I absolutely love this computer just because it has everything I want. I can take out parts, I can add more parts if I need like more RAM, more memory, more internal hard drives, all that stuff. I can all add that. With Mac, you can't really do that. So now guys, I'm going to talk about what's inside this case. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications because you guys don't want to miss out on the epic videos that are coming up on the channel. It, it, I mean, it's... It's it, it, it's mind-blowing guys. So this case right here. This is the Masterbox Pro 5 RGB I love the RGB lighting and then it changes color and I try to keep that theme throughout the entire computer This is probably one of my favorite cases it has a great tempered glass panel here So I can see the insides of my computer and it was only about 70 bucks So I'm definitely linking everything I use on this tire build in the, in the description below So make sure you guys go check it out right now. Motherboard, I'm using the MSI B360 Gaming Plus motherboard. This is actually, I'd say, one of my favorite motherboards. I love that it's just a great price. Also, it has that classic black and red theme. The CPU, I'm using the Intel i7-8700, and that's actually a really good processor. For the SSD or the M.2, I'm using Western Digital Blue 500 gigabytes. For the RAM, I'm using DDR4 Patriot Viper, and it just supported me really well, and honestly, all the parts I've put in this computer have just worked super well. For the power supply, it's using an EVGA 600 watt power supply. I got this thing for like a sick deal at Best Buy. It was literally like the best deal I've seen yet at Best Buy. How to cop that, how to get that. For the graphics card, I'm just using the Intel i7 integrated graphics, because at this point, I don't really need a graphics card. Down the line, I might get one, but then again, I really plan to build another PC in 2019, and I'll probably get the NVIDIA RTX 2080 T for that PC. So at this point, I don't really need a graphics card, and I'll probably get it for my future PC builds. For the internal hard drive, there is none, because I don't need any at all, and I built this computer on a budget, and literally, I mean, a budget nowadays means $1,000. $1,000! $1,000! $1,000! You see some of these videos with like a PC for 500 bucks. Yes, you can build a PC for 500 bucks. It's just not going to be able to run a lot of stuff. And if you really want to do gaming on a PC, you won't be able to do that at all. For the monitor, I'm using the LG IPS LED monitor. This is one of my favorite monitors. And I actually picked this one up for a great deal too. For only 110 bucks at Costco. And for the webcam, this is the C920 Logitech webcam. This shoots an HD 1080p, so it's going to be a super high quality absolutely love this webcam. The keyboard is just a really just cheap low brand. It's NPET and it was 16 bucks, so I got it for a great deal. And the mouse was only five bucks. So the keyboard and mouse are super cheap and I try to do everything on a budget. So if you guys are trying to do a really good budget PC build, I would totally recommend this. And if you're gonna get a graphics card, I'd probably get a 1060 graphics card and that'd probably be my recommendation for the graphics card. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You guys don't want to miss out on the epic content coming up on this channel, right? I mean, right guys? Come on. Pretty awesome, right? 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on the socials. Over on Instagram, it's poppin'. We're posting behind the scenes over there. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All that will be linked down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time, peace.